Welcome to the World of Warcraft Survival Guide for Patch 725, The Tomb of Sargeras. For real, I'm a caricature of Jeremy Fiesel, and in this video, we'll bring you up to speed on the changes and features coming in 725. Up first are the numerous class changes. There's a lot in store, and we're excited to iterate and reiterate and make your favorite spec feel like something you have to learn all over again. Get ready to freshen up your game when you earn gear and legendaries for a spec you don't like so you don't get kicked from your guild or the pre-made group finder tool. And we can't wait to make you do it again and again in futile effort. 725 has a legion of new legendary items with over 40 to discover. We hope that you'll be lucky enough to earn them and unlock the potential for your characters that you used to have with major glyphs. For those of you just joining us and jumping into legion now, or if you're interested in trying out a new spec or character, get wrecked. You might be experiencing the Broken Isles with only a fraction of what your characters are capable of, but steal your resolve and keep that subscription active. If you already have a collection of legendaries, you'll be able to complete a quest line that will upgrade them up to item level 970. This quest should be familiar if you've upgraded your legendaries in the 715 patch, and this time, there shouldn't be any problems progressing through the questline. We promise. 725 introduces Time Walking Raids, a familiar feature with a new twist that will bring you and your comrades back in time to defeat Illidan in the Black Temple Raid. Take a few friends and fill the rest of your group with bottom feeders from the group finder tool and relive the horrors of yesteryear. The Black Temple will be available at the next Burning Crusade Time Walking event, which will take place... Uh, when does it take place, dude? Uh, they haven't announced it, dude. Oh, uh, you don't know? No, I don't see it on the calendar at all. You don't know? For real? Fuck. It's going to be even easier for you to underappreciate the world leveling content and complain that there isn't enough to do. 725 will hold your hand even more with heirloom upgrades that work up to level 110 and heirloom flight maps for the Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor. For you high-level PvPers, Make sure you give these new and rising characters an awesome Warcraft welcome. Mythic Keystone Dungeons are undergoing some changes to redefine what we decide is fun for you. Keystones will no longer deplete in the event of a failed encounter, and in order to earn the biggest number of rewards, you'll need to complete higher level Keystones instead of farming lower level ones like a lazy sack of Shkromi, the lovable bronze dragon who gives you awkward boners, is in danger from the infinite dragonflight and a host of other threats. You will enter a special solo scenario and team up with Chromie to go on a journey to both past and future to save her over and over and over again until she gives you a hideous set of gear. The Legion Fall campaign to push back the Burning Legion comes to a head with the opening of the Tomb of Sargeras, which happened a few months ago, but check out the trailer and pretend that this is a sudden surprise. That's awesome. You and your friends, or you and the faceless tools that you pugged, will venture inside the tomb and face off against the Legion's most fervent defenders, desperate to prevent you from stopping their invasion of Azeroth. You may have heard of only one of them, but they've heard of you, champion. Meanwhile, for those of you looking to buy a carrier for the mythic Gul'dan mount, and international money launderers looking to sell them, the Trial of Valor and Nighthold Raid will be available for cross-realm grouping on mythic difficulty. For you non-raiders out there, don't worry. There are plenty of features in store that you can discover and rediscover, like all the stuff you've been doing since almost a year ago, and all the features you've been ignoring because you think they're beneath you. But there's more, including content that won't affect your performance in any way. You can race a gnome, dance for the amusement of others, stare at baby moonkin, play dress up, and encounter a new pet battle dungeon. We can't wait for the 22 of you to join us on the fun. You can read more on our website at worldofwarcraft.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the tomb. Unless you only play on LFR difficulty, then we'll see you in August.